Two years ago, we found our dream house. Back then, it was skin and bones, but the design project was enough to convince us that this is home. All of our life, we dreamt of this very moment, and today we are opening the doors for the first time. We are going to test the pool and get our feet wet. We are going to eat Doritos while enjoying our new view. And we are going to dance like there's no tomorrow. I am so proud of us, Amanda. Today is a very special day. Are you ready to move in, Jon? When you're moving into your new house, this gets first priority. Sorry, Amelia. In 2018, we moved to Lisbon, the capital of Portugal. It still is our favorite city in the world, but after discovering Madeira Island for the first time in 2019, it didn't take more than 20 months before we decided to move here. The combination of all year's summer weather, majestic nature and peacefulness is why we will likely never leave. This is home. It has been two years since we made our first video that we are building our dream villa. That's a long time because the villa is still not done, but it is so close to done that we can camp there. So I was allowed in the car after all, and more importantly, the machine is moving into Sudade Villa. And guys, this is our entrance, unless you take the elevator right here. Ooh. Doesn't work yet though. Oh my God, the view here is the craziest thing I've ever seen, Yom. I just feel the calmness already in here. No. Barking dogs, no barking dogs, no barking dogs. We are gonna make this as homey as possible while camping out here because honestly, we are so excited about this house. Our new villa is located between Ponta do Sol and Ribeira Brava with five minutes to each town. Being in downtown nature and yet only 20 minutes away from Funchal is pretty great. There are many things that made us fall madly in love with this villa, but the sheer beauty and high-end quality from top to toe was the main reason we pulled the trigger. It's rare to find a new house in Portugal where everything is turnkey perfect. You know, we're finding a glass wall with zero color accent for the pool was a year-long challenge. Where you have 3,000 square meter of Italian tiles even though there are much cheaper and easier solutions. Where window glass isn't just glass but we'll show you that later. The entire villa is fully automated and reacts to you and changes according to your chosen mood. My favorite mode is called mother-in-law is coming where everything stops working and she has to find a hotel. Plug it in Amelia. That's what she said. Look at that. I think I like it like if it's like in a... Like at home? Yeah. Boom. No, I can't. Our first moving in dispute. <laughs> Most of the functionality of the house is not there yet. No. We still have no running water and the house is still not connected to the sewage. Motors for the mirror facade will be installed in a few weeks. The pool and spa are not connected to the pumps. The whole kitchen is not connected, except the fridge. It's a miracle! Plugs for the wall, library shelves, outdoor kitchen, illuminated steps, wooden floors here, electric curtains. A glass fence to avoid drunk accidents and falling babies. But most importantly, the landscaping and the other two villas. They're scheduled to be done in six months and if you stick to the end of this video, we have a pretty epic giveaway for one very lucky person. This is the bare minimum in terms of, of functionality. So this is actually a built-in couch. So at some point we will have like customized cushions to go here. So this is going to be like a lounge area where you literally just sit and look out like this. I mean, come on, how beautiful is that? I thought we had so much in the car. And it, it doesn't fill up anything. But it, it gives an idea of what it's gonna be like, although the style is very different. We are celebrating two things today. We are celebrating, we're moving into the house, and then we have a very important unboxing. Uh oh, Amelia. You know where this comes from? This is something we have been wanting since we went to Portugal the first time actually and we became like a YouTube duro. I am practicing my vlogger skills Yeah. by How do you talking think you're doing? to the camera. And I think it's so strange. My boys. This has actually been in our apartment for the last two weeks, but we just got back from Lisbon and our friend, he was the one who was looking for it. He's been waiting for seven years for this package. Uh, I know, I know what it is. Thank you, Joel. <laughs> 
presented to stay classy vlog for passing 100,000 subscribers. Today is a good day. When we actually got 100,000 subscribers, I was happy, but I didn't really understand it. <laughs> and now when I see the plate actually unwrapped, I'm like, wow. What a day for a daydream. What a day for a daydreaming boy It feels so surreal to sit here because we have been wanting to sit here for two years straight now and we thought we were gonna sit here last year but due to the world events we uh, haven't been able to sit here until now and now is when the fun thing starts because now I am about to start doing the design thing where it's like furniture and art pieces and landscaping I'm going to put it here so now we have the two most important things in our life right next to each other. There really is nothing quite like being on a lilo in a pool on a summer day. One night of magic rush, the star to simple touch, one night to push and scream. So in the world of Amelia and Jon, this is what we call a happy moment. Being able to enjoy our home like this was truly blissful. In our mind we had already moved in, and imagining that it'll get much better with furniture, greenery and no fence and light pole made it even more special. To call for a How are you enjoying the kitchen, Amelia? I like it a lot. The fridge works, which is the most important, honestly. And Wine. we have also taken advantage of the fridge, because we eat a lot. <laughs> I forgot a bread knife, so maybe we should just break the bread. So we're sitting right now in uh, our outdoor dining out mm -hmm. area. And uh, if you lived in Denmark, where we're from, you would probably never use it. But here in Madeira, and especially in this area, you will use it. Because it's always sunny. Probably uh, most of the year. Mm -hmm. uh, there probably will be weeks uh, of the year where it's too rainy or whatever. But because we are right next to Ponte do Sol, which is literally translated to point of sun, we are at the, the sunniest and warmest part of Madeira. This is featured in CNN. This is the expat village. People from all across the world come here to live the nomad digital dream. Dance for me, dance for me. <laughs> this is three euros. <laughs> I found my new place. They pour a pretty good glass of wine here. <laughs> the whole house is asking for indoor outdoor living and that's what we really wanted. One of the things that I'm looking forward to the most is landscaping because we have, don't have green hands but we have green eyes. We just get happy when we have all the, the trees and plants and everything will be like a jungle here. Feeling at home, Amanda? I will never leave this place. This is our forever home. <laughs> so while this is a luxury house, it still is a luxury living because I'm about to go and pee. This is my nightmare. This is my nightmare! And while Amelia is in there, just admire this facade here. It's so... Incredible. I feel a little bit like that episode where that woman is married to a roller coaster. You smell good. <laughs> God, you smell so good. Mm, okay. And this is the water situation. This is the only running water we have right now. This entrance looks crazy. We were told that this door is actually one of those doors that you can see through them. But then from the inside you can push a button so you can't see through it. It's called switch glass technology. That's what it's called. And just a detail like this is one of the examples of why this house is so next level. Like we've not been able to find anything like this. And generally when you find even luxury houses here in Portugal, it's always following, you know, a standard protocol. This top tier level is, is hard to find. Are you preparing the bedroom? Yes, it's gonna be so nice waking up tomorrow looking at the waterfall. Normally you would just push on a button and then they would go like this. It's not so elegant right now. No, it's not because the, the motor is not on yet. This looks like one kind of a museum building. This is like where you pay to get a photo. Yeah, exactly. It looks so good. Wow. And even better, 
out here you have the plunge pool and then there's plenty of space for two here of course I think there's only room for one Amelia and then you have the plunge pool down here for the garden area do you know what the best thing is about this bath it is that no one is allowed to build anything on all the green area down in front of us Amelia that's what you call a blowjob oh my god this, huh? this is the guest bathroom guys so obviously there's no uh, water but check out this this is this is a, a rainforest shower but look at the light when it comes in here while you're taking a dump thanks for that image you the master bedroom is where the real magic happens. The spacious bedroom is particularly nice with switchable glass windows for added privacy along with his and her sink, rainforest shower and of course the Roman spa with a view. So this is where the office is going to be? Yeah, we're going to have like a huge desk for both of us going all the way over here. And then we can both sit here next to each other and work which I think is nice. And you don't have to come up with your stupid joke. That you don't need you an don't office? You don't need an office because you don't work ideal. Well, your office is by the dishwasher. Do you think that we're ever going to use the elevator? No. The lighting is so unbelievable in yeah. this house. It really is. I forgot there is an atrium here. We are gonna... I have a Bondi fire. A Bondi fire? I wanted to sound Australian. All I had was me undies on and I've walked out the front and... But we are rookies because I knew we were going to do this today and I didn't buy marshmallows. This is definitely the best view we've had while playing Yahtzee. No doubt. And uh, Amelia, she wins literally 9 out of 10 times in this, which should be statistically impossible. They said someday you'll find a hula -bla. Amelie, what is this, you naughty, naughty girl? We got healthy snacks in the middle. Homemade dates with cacao. Is this a healthy one? Mm? Wow. I think it's safe to say that the sun has set. Yes. But we still have some uh, twilight action going on. Yeah. This is playing Yeti against Amelia. She has plus e everything. What she needs is one pair and the chance. <laughs> Has flown away. I am without my love. Now, laughing friends deride tears I cannot hide. Good morning. Slip like a baby. First night in our villa. It's out of focus, just like Amelia in the morning. How did my little puppy sleep? I slept like a baby. Not much. At the lighting in this house, I realized when I was flying the drone this morning that the house changes all the time with the light. So the house this morning was different than it was last evening. And, you know, that gives it this kind of newsworthiness that you don't get tired of it in the long run, I'm guessing. Welcome to the garden guys. We already have planned like an in-ground lounge here. But then what is really cool about this place is that I'm going to create our own little fruit and vegetable garden. It's not in the designs or anything, but Jon and I just really want to have our own vegetables. It looks pretty cool from here, I have to say. Everything here from this wall and all the way down is going to be like a freaking wall of greenery and lushness. This is literally a dream coming true. The other day we met a couple and, and they said that, you know, they've traveled a hundred countries countries Madeira is the number one of all the places I've ever been every morning she start like this Maybe what are we cooking good looking we are having chicken burgers today but the stove is not functional so I brought this <laughs> So the more time we spend here at the villa, the more we truly just fall in love with this house. The feeling you get when you are here is just unbelievable. The view 
we have here. There are no obstructions at all. I am so happy and, and privileged uh, to, to call this home. Back to life, back to reality. Before we moved here, I made a Q&A like three years ago on Instagram. And someone was like, if you were to move to Madeira, what area would you live in? And I said, just somewhere near Puente do Sol. Yeah. And look, three years later, we're building a house it right is, next to my I think this area. is the best area because it's so fast to drive to Funchal. It's yeah. like 20 minutes. Yeah, it's boom, perfect. Boom. Another beautiful morning here in paradise and I was just thinking we have frogs as neighbors and they're very nice neighbors but I'm wondering who will our real neighbors be next door in the two villas because they're still uh, for sale. So because there's still are two villas for sale, our friend Priyash, who is the mad genius behind these architectural marvels, is also mad enough to give away his 2018 Porsche Cayman. Whether you buy the villa yourself or know someone who knows someone and that someone buys the villa, this car is yours. You can find all the details in the description below. Time to say bye for now. We're coming back soon. If all goes according to the plan, we should be able to move in in about 90 days. But we will of course keep you guys in the loop with regular updates here on YouTube and Instagram. Big hugs from us too.